let me tell you something about me. I don't do anything without worship. That's who I am. I'm like David. Everything, even before I pray. Because I believe worship. Ask your neighbor and say, how do you approach the throne of God? Can you, at the back there, can you ask your neighbor, how do you approach the throne of God? You can't just say before God and say, you see me, you see me now, I need anointing and ah. God, God, God is not pleased in those things. Listen, whoever that is born on this earth, God knows why you are born and what is it that you are born for. So now when you go before God, you don't need to tell him. You don't need to say, please, I need anointing. Uh, open my eyes. Uh, your eyes will never be open. You, you heard what I said? If, if you put yourself in a position of worshipping, you, you, you put God where he belongs. Ah, he knows what you are born for. If you are supposed to be a prophet, your eyes will go boom. And you start to say, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. But if you just want to say, you go before God now, you, you, you start by complaining. Ah, you see, I don't have a job. Yeah? You see, my cousins are working. Give me a job now. God will say, Tell your neighbor and say, God knows what you want. Tell your neighbor, say, say, God knows what you want. How do you approach the throne of God? How do you approach? Huh? Pastor, how do you approach the throne of God? God is not your friend. Are you hearing me? God is not what? He's not your friend. And he will never be your friend. You find sometimes people there, you know there are people on this earth, the way they've got pride, ne? they're making themselves as if they're the only ones who can hear from God. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, but you know, according to me, there are some pastors that they, they want to show you that it's me. Yeah, it's me. It's me. Where is the Holy Spirit in that? If you develop a spirit of worship, pride won't come to you. Because you know that every time you must put, you must put God where he belongs. The Bible says he's a God of jealousy. He doesn't want to be mixed with anything. Don't mix him. Huh, brother, don't mix him. Put him where he belongs. Oh, you hear me? How do you, how do you approach the throne of God? You just go and say, "Me, I want to be a big pastor." Before God, say, "I want to be a big pastor. I want to have a big church." You know what is a big church? A big church belongs to those that are winning the souls every day with the truth the lost souls not a building oh you hear me the, a, a big church belongs to those that are winning souls every day by speaking the truth oh you hear me can I prophesy you now <laughs> I mean I can't just come here and say even me I must be ready mama even me, I must be ready. Can, can you come and sing that song? They said they've given me 30 minutes. Maybe it's because something is happening today. <laughs> come. Oh, Samyango, where Zulu, where Sela, M. Sabeni, Seli, so Kalai, Tilongo, Sim. Can, can we sing it now? This song, when I think about it, it's because of what God showed me. 
to be honest with you, this earth is about to be finished. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor and say, when God, when he comes here, where are you going to go? If God comes now, you know there are people that, if God comes now, now, you see they are sitting in the church, they'll go to hell, straight to hell. Straight. Straight from church to hell. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, from here to straight. No stop sign, no, no robot. No questioning. Straight. You know why? Because many of you, when you're in the church, you don't open your heart. You are busy speaking with your friend and say, hey, friend, today I... It's like the pastor today is not very nice. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we sing this song? Stand up. Selizoka Nikilo Simcha Jesus Nyango Nyango Say, Lord, and we're coming. Say, Lord. 